Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to do a little video on hair tutorial. I get a lot of requests to show how I style my hair, how I curly them. Well, I just washed them. I used shampoo and conditioning and then um, I'm about to use this leaving proof uh, styling treatment. It's five in one. I absolutely love this product. It's amazing. So I'm going to add some of it into my wet hair and then I'll blow dry it. It's probably going to look a little crazy. My hair naturally is pretty baby and uh, frizzy and you know all that good stuff so it makes it a little easier to style them. So I will show you. All right so I have the cream in my hair. Now I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and blow dry it. I would like to add a lot more volume to my uh, hair so I'm gonna go ahead and flip my head over and then blow dry it in this direction. Woo! This is what my hair looks like! A little crazy cray cray hair okay so let's fix this crazy hair and um, what I'm going to be using is a hot tool well not hot tool brand but hot tool uh, to curl my hair I'm using these three quarters of an inch um, curling iron curling iron if I said it right I'm using uh, this brand con air you don't have to use this particular brand it just has to be this thickness in order for you to achieve the look that I'm about to show you. You would need to section your hair into little parts and I use this hair clipper or you can just use simply hair tie. So you would just need to section your hair. It's just the easiest way to curl your hair and this is how I do it with just my hair tie. Kind of create a ponytail, move the way up so they're not, they're not in my way leave this part out and I'm about to curly that. This is how I curly my hair using this curling iron. Okay, so the rule of thumb to curl your hair, you want to curl it away from your face. So you go like this then you want to curl it away. Not towards your face but it has to be away. And this is how I do it. I start from kind of the middle, well, closer to my hair um, line. I don't know how to even explain it to you, but just watch it. Okay, so go like this, and then you logo. You don't wanna to touch the curl, you wanna let it cool off, and then off to the next part I go. Okay, then you start from kind of your hair roots, I guess, and then you work your way, and then you let go a little, you yeah. get all the ends in there, then you curl that, and then you let go. You don't want to touch the curl, you want to let it cool off. And then you do the same thing, bring it closer to your roots, let go, get a little bit more in there, let go, just like that. Okay. Now we're at this part of my face. So you so want to do it away from your face. So you clip a little in there, and then you want to release that, let go, curly more, get a little more. And then you just want to let go. Okay, on to the next section of my hair.
Okay, there goes another section of my hair. So then I just take this front hair right here. Okay, and then, so I just take this hair, I clip this, just the top portion, because we're gonna come back to it. That will be the most important one um, in this hair style. And then you wanna go ahead and curling all of your hair with the same method that we just did. So again, you take part of your hair then you want to start curling that away from your face. This is how you do it. Then you go this way and you want to release a little bit more in that clip so the hair gets curled all the way in there, get clamped all the way in there. So you want to let it cool off. Okay. Now to the most important part is, you know, your facial part, like your front. So what I wanna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and curly the back of my hair, like this top of my hair first, and then I'll show you what I do in front. Now let's do the front part. So for that, you're gonna need a flat iron. So I take a little section of my hair right here up front, just a little tiny bit. And then I take my flat iron and I just do this. I just add a little, um, I slide it through a little bit of my front hair and then I, kind of cool it off by bringing hair forward, cooling it off. I, I don't know how to describe it, but anyways, just watch what I'm doing. You don't want to run your flat iron um, all the way through your length, the, the length of your hair. So as you can see here, I brought the hair forward. Can you guys see it? So now I take some of this, you know, more sections of my hair and your front hair should not be as curly as your back hair. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does not look good. You don't want to curl them too crazy. So you just want to add little tiny bit of a curl, like a little tiny. And then you kind of want to pull it down a little so it's not too curly. And take front part, just curl it like that. And then you want to let go and then you want to bring it down because you don't want it to be super curly up front. Just, just a little tiny bit like that. Just when you curl your hair too much at your face, the front of your face, it just looks interesting. It does not look that good. You literally just want to curl that just a little tiny bit. And you want to pull it down so it's not curls too much. Okay, now that I'm done with curling my hair, I'm going to use some hair products and the hair products that I'm about to use are a dirty texture spray by this brand. I love this brand. It works so good. And then I'm going to use um, volumizing spray by the same brand. It smells really good. Like really, really good. So this is what I want to do. Um, because I like to add more volume to my hair, I'm going to go ahead and move this hair Spray it a little, you know, hold it for a few seconds until it dries and then let go. Same goes for this part. You want to keep it a little to let it dry, then you release, let go, and then I'll do that for the top of my hair also. 
give it a little spray, let it dry, let go, just like that. And now I'm gonna use the texture spray. It um, adds so much texture to my hair. You don't have to use hairspray. If you want to, you can. I just don't like to use hairspray. I like to use texture spray. And then I added a little bit right here at the front. More to my front. A little bit here. And voila! Well, this was it. Super easy. Sometimes quick, sometimes not. It depends on your length of your hair. It depends on thickness of your hair. I don't have a lot of hair because I just chopped them off. Um, but it doesn't really take that long. It takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes to create this look. This look is really cute for either everyday, special event, or whatever it might be. I just do it because I like it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel, leave those comments down below. Let me know if you like it or not. Let me know what you would like to see in my upcoming videos. Oh, by the way, ring that bell to notify you of my upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next videos. Thanks. Bye-bye.